It is a welcome return. The pandemic decimated professional sport, including, of course, tennis. But now these heavy hitters are back. The UK has some of the best wheelchair tennis players in the world, and they've gathered here for their first post-lockdown competition. It's definitely a moment worth making a racket about. The LTA arranged this tournament specially to get the UK team match fit before they fly out to the US Open. For the pros who've had their schedules turned upside down, it's much needed. So how's it feeling out there getting back into it? Yeah, it's really exciting to be back on a you know match court competition wise. You know, everyone's still like living life and you have to live it whatever the new norm's gonna be, we have to kind of adjust to that. Today's action saw UK number one Alfie Hewitt beat reigning Paralympic champ Gordon Reed in a fiercely competitive match. They're looking forward to returning to New York, but they know things will be very different. Yeah, I think we get tested, what, three times before before we play, uh, every other day to make sure, obviously, you're, you're safe and yeah, you're not allowed to go out of your hotel room in the first 24 hours. So to hear that they're putting in such strict protocols is exactly what we want to hear as players. You know, I'm just really excited about competing again, and, uh, you know, if that means that we have to get extra tests or live in a bubble or whatever it is, then, you know, that doesn't bother me. We've already seen these surreal images of Andy Murray successfully start his US Open campaign to an empty stadium. But these are professional athletes, so they dig deep. Wheelchair tennis doesn't get the biggest crowds, but there are quite a few people watching. And to play in empty stadiums and know where the players is, it's tougher. But again, when the competitive nature comes out, it's you against the other player. And that's what we've seen in these events now. We're seeing players go for each other. None are more dedicated than female number one, Jordan Wiley. Her Wimbledon was scrapped, the Paralympics delayed, and she's even pushed back her wedding, but she's raring to go. It's going to be strange, and I'll have to find some like inner energy to feed off. Whoever wins it is going to have a good head on their shoulders, I think, to be able to come through in like, basically a zombie apocalypse and, uh, and win a slab. New balls at the ready then. Here's hoping the team can serve up a reason to celebrate. Steve Hargrave, 5 News.